Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the module 1 in this course, Introduction to IoT. So in this module we are going to look at the following topics. Uh, first we will look at some introduction to IoT. Then we will see the definition for Internet of Things. Then we will look at IoT characteristics followed by physical design of IoT, logical design of IoT. Then we will look at different enabling technologies for IoT. Then we will look at IoT levels. And finally, we will close this module with domain specific IoT. This is related to IoT applications. We will look at various IoT applications in different domains. So let's start with introduction to IoT. So this is the uh, definition of IoT. Uh, it's a collection of interrelated computing devices. And these devices will have unique identifiers. And they have the ability to transfer data over a network. Okay. So different things will be communicating and these things can be sensors or other kinds of devices. So in the coming uh, future sessions we will look at different things and all of those. So why we should know about IoT? So it provides different career opportunities. There are a lot of job opportunities uh, in different domains if you learn IoT. And the things, mainly sensors, will sense data in the real time. So they provide real time analytics. Okay. And IoT offers a better scope for data scientists. So data scientists typically churn lots of data and extract useful information using which we will take decisions. Okay, that is uh, known as actionable data using which we can make decisions. Of course, IoT offers and industry-wide connectivity. Uh, I am going to skip this. Now, this is an interesting figure. Mm, connected devices in the world. Uh, so all these numbers you are seeing here, these are in terms of billions. Okay, so this is 15 billion. Okay, and here these dashed rectangles represent non IoT devices, and this orange color rectangle represents number of IoT devices. Okay, so right now we are in 2020. So in 2020, the number of IoT devices connected are 9 point, nearly 10 billion, and number of non IoT devices are 11.3 billion. Okay, and if you look at uh, the estimated figures in 2025, the number of IoT devices that are going to be connected to the internet are nearly 21.5 billion, a very huge number. Okay. Right. So, salary, mm, salary, salary trends. So, this is this blue part represents pressures or junior level salaries from here we go to the extreme end this orange part represents salaries of senior level or better say executive level roles okay so if you see here this starting salary is in the range of 0 to 6 lakhs per annum and if you look at this orange chunk, it is nearly 50 plus lakhs per annum. 
okay huge amount of salary so if you look at the right hand side you can see here the median salary for an iot professional is 15.2 lakhs per annum it's not uh, fresher salary it is median salary on an average so typically a person with 9 to 10 years of experience will get this amount of salary okay as iot is relatively a new entrant that is uh, it is coming into light in the past few years that is why uh, iot professionals are offered higher salaries okay other than different other jobs uh some more figures so if you look at on the right hand side you can see here for pressures the salary is nearly 6 lakhs per annum okay so this is the thing 6 lakhs per annum and when moving from one level to another level that is let's say um, assistant to associate kind of level the salary tends to increase almost 50% on the current salary so if you look at this transition that means uh, a person after having 4 to 6 years of experience is going to make a transition from this level to next level so if you see here um, the let's say Uh, previously the person is earning 6 lakhs per annum okay so 50% of this is three lakhs so 6 plus 3 total 9 okay so this approximately represents 9 lakhs okay now then if you see the next high level uh, calculate the half of 9 lakhs and then add it to the previous salary okay and senior professionals can get a salary of 30 plus lakhs per annum okay so at present the different roles in iot domain are uh ui ux designers that is user interface user experience designers uh who create different user interfaces and then we have network engineer who will look after all the communication equipment that uh, that is being used in iot and back end developer who looks after uh code that is needed for communicating with the data stores as it is database files or whatever data store it is and then another role is technical consultant and then we have m2m engineer so these people works with hardware okay maintaining the hardware and then we have customer support okay bpo and then the new coming or emerging roles for first one is solution architect so what does this person do is uh, they will they will be given a problem uh, i mean a client comes and uh, asks asks the company for creating an iot application for their problem so this person takes that problem he will analyze the problem and he will come up with a solution for the different components that will be involved in the iot application for example this person will suggest what what database should be used okay this person will suggest what operating system should be used and also this person will suggest what sensors will, should be used what computing devices should be used and all these things that is the uh, mm, job of a solution architect and then we have product manager so this is like a manager in a software company so this person is responsible for um, framing the uh, schedules and all these things monitoring the, monitoring the milestones and such sort of tasks management related tasks and then we have data scientists 
who will convert the raw data into actionable information or knowledge and then we have industrial engineer uh, these people are similar to network engineers and then we have full stack developer so this is a combination of front end as well as back end which uh, gives full stack okay and then we have robot coordinator so this is similar to m2m engineer and then what are the different skills required for moving into IoT domain? Uh, we should have knowledge about embedded systems. So embedded system is basically a combination of software and hardware uh, which is created for solving a particular task. Uh, examples of embedded systems, you can say many. A digital watch, um, a digital microwave oven, digital fridge, digital washing machine and so on. Then you have to have knowledge about networking concepts because we have communication which is involved in IoT. Uh, you should have knowledge of programming. Of course you will be creating IoT applications so you should know uh, at least one programming language. And then you should have knowledge about analytics, how to analyze the data. And then you have to have the knowledge of different communication protocols. And then you have to have some idea about network security. So security is very important, which is often neglected. And then you have to know something about user interface and user experience design, followed by cloud computing knowledge, followed by edge computing, and finally, of course, the most important of them, soft skills. Even if you know different technology related concepts, but you don't have communication ability to express your knowledge, okay, it is bad. So that is why every person should have soft skills. So that's it for this session. We have seen what is IoT and some salary trends. And finally, we have ended with different skills required for moving into IoT domain. Thank you.